Welcome to another episode of Real Estate Investing Explained. Here's today's question. And so you mentioned the concept of velocity of money and that that piqued my interest. Let's dive into that a little bit. What do you mean by that? Well, it's faster. When people ask, I describe money in the following way. So they call it cash flow, flow being the operative word. Money has to move. In a debt-based economy, money has to move. When money freezes up, when debt freezes up, money freezes up, velocity comes to a standing still and our economy shuts down. That's what we experienced a few years back with the Lehman Brothers and everything else, that whole fiasco. That was a perfect example of there was no velocity of money. Nobody was borrowing. Nobody was lending. Everything just came to a halt. Money is a river. You are a fisherman. You are, you are kind of like a filter. Like imagine you put a filter, like a two foot by two foot filter with like a mesh in the middle and you lower it into the river. And depending on how fine your filter is, that's what it catches. Depending on how careful and how skillfully you can maneuver that filter relative to the flow of money, flow of the river, that's how much you can. Making money, anything financial, is a function of seeing yourself as a filter, understanding that there's a velocity that's happening, and you put yourself in the middle, and that's where you educate yourself to find out how more effectively to put yourself in the middle of the fastest stream of money you can, because the faster the stream of money, the more of it settles down into your filter. So hopefully that imagery helps somebody to kind of conceptualize. You know, instead of getting paid monthly, as you would on a typical rental, over here, you're getting paid three times a month, four times a month, six times a month, depending on what your minimum stay is that you do on Airbnb and all those platforms. But you're getting paid nightly. You're getting paid a nightly rate. So of course, you're going to make much money. So a unit that generates $1,200, I'll give you an example. We have an apartment complex that I'm launching Airbnb uh, in right now. This is a third unit, a typical apartment, the studio apartment in that complex in Phoenix that rents for, I want to say, $750. They're generating between $18,000 and $2,000 a month as furnished rentals. Now, I actually rent them out 30 night stays because that's what I want to do in the apartment setting. But because the, the, the pricing is calibrated on a nightly rate, it makes twice to three times as much money. So that's your perfect kind of example that you can touch and feel of the effect of velocity of money. People come in, they need a place, they're willing to pay a premium, they're going to be out. The next guy comes in, he's also willing to pay a premium. So when you operate at a faster speed, you can expect to make more money. So why is the velocity of money specifically so much better with house hacking? You could just live in a duplex and rent uh, the other half on a 12-month lease. Why would you? If you can get 50 bucks a night and make $1,500 in 30 days by renting it out on Airbnb. So it's, it's just up to you. But is it a little more work? Yeah, because, because it's a business. You're not talking about real estate anymore. You're really talking about a different kind of business, but it works. So who cares? That's all for this episode of Real Estate Investing Explained. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, or subscribe to our YouTube channel to get even more free content.